Today, we're going to compare the cameras on a Galaxy Z Flip 5 versus the iPhone 14 Pro. Right now, we're using the front cameras, and on the Flip, you can actually use the back cameras for better quality. So, I just switched to the back camera on the Z Flip 5, which I can still see myself with the external display. On the iPhone, I can't do that because I'm just going to be shooting blind. As you may know, the camera sensors on the Galaxy Flip 5 is the same as last year's Flip 4. So, drastically, you won't see any huge improvements in the picture quality, but if you're just shooting during daytime, the picture still comes out looking great. And obviously, since the Flip 5 doesn't have a telephoto lens, you are digitally zooming in, therefore the pictures do get more digitized or noisy. And I think that's okay because with the Flip 5, I feel like it's more of a vlogging or selfie phone anyways, where you won't really need to use that telephoto lens or zooming in all that often. I feel like as a content creator, the Galaxy Flip 5 makes things easier for you to create content because of the hinge and being able to angle towards yourself with the bigger screen. And also, it's more enjoyable because there's less setup time and I don't need to bring much gear at all or as much gear. I've done a totally separate video on this topic so I'll link it up at the end. Now for low light, I've always noticed that the iPhone does have this like really greenish yellowish hue on their picture or video that's something i'm not a big fan of so i do like the images off of the galaxy just a bit more taking these pictures i noticed that the stabilization doesn't seem all that consistent on an iphone when i'm doing telephoto or zooming in into the pictures and in general i know that the galaxy phones have a more contrastier look so the shadows tend to be darker but i feel like with these darker pictures here the the green on the plant actually shows through or comes through whereas on an iphone it's just completely dark and even taking pictures somewhere at a bar, of course, besides the telephoto lens, I feel like the images are still closer or the gap is closer between these two where they look pretty identical. Now for selfies, the experience on a Flip 5 is just so much better in terms of the quality. And I feel like just in general, it's easier to use, it's quicker to use. There's also the ultra wide where you can show so much more of your background and take easier group selfies. And also even low light, so much better. I would say the ultra wide is something that you can avoid, but with the One X is gonna be 10 times or way better than the front camera. Now for portrait mode, the Flip 5 doesn't have the 2X and 3X, which I prefer because of the nice compressed background. It does give that portrait look, but you do need a lot of space for it. And looking at them side by side, the pictures on the Galaxy does give that warmer look on the skin tone. Also, I feel like I do pop out more in a picture, whereas on iPhone, it seems more toned down and a little bit more natural. For video, this is the vlogging phone. I feel like it's very discreet, it's small, easy to use, and I do feel more natural using this to vlog than any other phone I've used. And with most Androids, double pressing the power button brings up the camera, so by the time I have the phone out of my pocket and towards like a selfie vlog position, the camera's ready to shoot. And for the most part, I will be shooting in the ultra wide lens just because I feel like it's a good medium shot. I can see a lot of the background and just shooting with one X, I feel like it's just way too close to the face. As I mentioned, being comfortable shooting with the Flip 5 is just so much better because the screen isn't exposed to the other side where I kind of feel awkward when someone's walking towards me and they look at the phone and noticing I'm vlogging. So I just feel self-conscious and I know that it's just like a, a personal thing, but I'm sure other people who vlogs out in public have the same feeling. And just comparing the two side by side using the front camera versus the Galaxy's back camera, which you would naturally use anyways, the quality is just so much better. For daytime shooting, both are really great. I feel like the Galaxy colors is just a bit more contrast there, so the shadows is a bit deeper from daytime and even nighttime. But besides the difference in colors, I feel like the biggest difference in terms of usage is the camera experience. So if you are a vlogger and you do a lot of that on your phone, then give the Flip 5 a try because I feel like it's gonna be hard going back to a regular phone. The Galaxy 5 may not have the best video quality, but just in terms of the way of using it, it makes you want to just stick with it. From vlogging in the city or even placing it down on a table to shoot yourself eating food or just creating food content in general, the Flip 5 is just a joy to use. Let me know your thoughts on this year's Flip 5 because that bigger outer display is such a game changer. I wish that they did improve the cameras but I hope they will focus on that on the next model. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.